Hi, hello, and howdy. I'm going to give this a try. Um, just a little short video that um, I wanted to do this journal. Uh, it's been a while now, but I, I think it was Natasha of Treasure Books that I saw do this. And um, I had this wallpaper and just decided that it that I'd like to try my hand at this <clears throat> and I was doing the cover and I thought well turn the camera on silly uh, <laughs> yes somebody else might want to see this too <laughs> but um so this uh let me see if I've got any measurements I don't think it really matters because it's just going to depend on what size you want to do and uh, this is actually got weights on it. It's actually a food box. And I did sand it just a little bit to get the glossiness, some of the glossiness off of it so the glue would stick better. I've got my Lanico, uh, um Neutral pH uh, adhesive um, just about about out on I have to get some more but it seems to work pretty pretty well I don't have a whole lot of trouble with it I've got my little silicone applicator here <clears throat> so I don't have to worry about running and washing anything because you know <laughs> that doesn't work well with me I would probably not wash it. Just like the, all those paintbrushes I've had to throw away because I forgot to wash them. So this I can just peel right off. So works for me. So what it is is uh, this is just a little junk journal um, with an open spine right here. So you can see the uh, signatures right in there and mine is um, my box was 14 inches across and I'm not sure how long um, probably about seven let me see I, like I said it really doesn't matter because maybe eight um, it, it, you can do you can do it any size that you want to and um, I was gonna do two but I only had the one I, I'm, I've not been keeping my food boxes so I just had the one this was about the size I wanted to do it so I was going to complete one and then show you guys how I got there with it but this will work this will work I think <laughs> okay so what I want to do I tell you what I did here um, for this box right here um, I found my my center both ways up and down and sideways and then I just kind of eyeballed how much this way and how much this way that I wanted to have showing that I wanted to cut out and then I figured about a half an inch on each side of the spine and then I just cut that out with the Zacto after I connected all the lines and uh, marked it and connected the lines, then I just cut it out with the Zacto. And my plan is that um, I will use that Exacto to cut the center out. I'm just trying to think if this is 
how I think it should. Yeah, I think so. Just come out from the corner. So you can kind of matter that. Yeah, I think that. And then I'm just eyeballing this part. Because you don't need the whole big square of paper in there. You see how it's working? Yeah, I think so. And I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even act like I'm good at cutting straight with this thing. Okay. And Yeah, that's kind of sort of got it there, I do believe. Um, so I'm going to go ahead, I believe, and glue this part down before I glue the sides. Yeah, so I just tacked on some, you can see the, that's where the paper starts. And then, of course, my paper was only 12 inches wide, and this is 14. So, put six here and six here, and then I did a separate piece for the, the spine and attached it with fabric. I should have told you that to start with, but yeah, that's how that's how I did that. So, for better or for worse, is how it's done. Okay, I don't know if you can hear my cat. He's snoring away. He's got a little bed that he likes to sleep in, and it's really just a box with a little pillow in it. But lately, he's been getting in front of the window between my work table and the window, and he's out of sight there, and then all of a sudden, I'll hear him. <laughs> Jumping up on the table. He never, he's never really been one to jump up on my, none of my cats have been. Uh, bad to jump on my work table, but he's uh, he's doing it now for some reason. He's just a strange kitty. They're also different. Any of you who have cats will know. I'm sure, you'll agree with me. They're just so so different. <clears throat> okay, now this looks like it needs a little bit more glue. Not a lot more. <laughs> Just a little bit, Sheila. So, is anybody going to the movies? Gosh, I haven't, I haven't been in so long. We um, do watch some here. What did we rent? We rented something that wasn't so good. I can't remember now. But I know uh, Sunday, we, um, a lot of times we will watch Turner Classic movies. Uh, at least, the, especially the film noir. 
and this past Sunday it was Nightmare Alley, the original version with Tyrone Bauer. <laughs> and I, as it turned out, I had seen it and didn't realize it. I only saw it once, and it's been quite a while, but I had seen it. It's quite an unusual or a different role for Tyrone Power. He did a good job. It's a very depressing movie. I don't know if the new one, well, it would have to be. This this subject matter does not lend itself to anything else. But, um... I saw the trailer for the new movie, and I thought, well, that looks like it might be pretty good, without even realizing that it was a remake, and then I had seen the original. So. And the original was pretty well made. I don't think it did well when it came out, because, um... Uh, Tyrone Power was something of a bad guy. And the role he played was not one that you're going to make a lot of friends with, <laughs> being that way. Pretty much con artist. But it, um, it, you know, it grew in uh, popularity as the years went on, kind of cult status. So, that became... Right for remaking. Bradley Cooper should be good in it. But I haven't even heard how it's doing, actually. Everything is so strange now. hope the weather is nice where you are. I know it's very cold in the north. Um, it's supposed to get cold here again uh, Sunday. We might get some snow, which we used to get at least a little bit of snow every year. One, you know, one, once, one or two snowfalls but uh, just not little to no accumulation. Um, of course, except for the wizard, the wizard, the blizzard, <laughs> 93. Uh, that we had about uh, four feet of snow, I think, here. And some people didn't have power for many days. We were lucky where we lived at the time. We got we we were only without power a couple of hours, but it was the first and only time I've seen thunder and or seen lightning in snow. And I'm glad I got to experience that once in my life. Um, strange day. It was a strange day. Okay, so this, I think this way, shows you, gives you an idea now. I am going to let that dry. Well, I've still got my glue out, though. Hmm. 
<laughs> and I'm still going to have that problem, but okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a false spine, not a false spine, but a, uh, a narrow strip of spine here and a strip of spine here with fabric and, yeah, a strip of, of something, a strip of um, mm, chipboard. A little strip here and a little strip here. And I, when I sew in my signatures, I'm going to start from this side so that my strings or my threads will be hanging on the outside. And that way I can put beads on them or something. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be cute. And for the inside... I might get some more of this from the, um, this is the French Industrial. Not, not the wallpaper, but this little strip up here is from Tim Holtz, uh, French Industrial. So, I might get some more of that for the inside. Yeah, I'm going to leave that flat. I'm going to put my weights on it and leave it flat. And then I'll come back and finish it when the time comes. All right? All right thanks, guys. Hi, I'm back. Uh, just thought I'd end this this uh, video now because it was already 20 minutes long. So I will say my usual to, um, well, I will say uh, please like, comment share, whatever, subscribe, all that stuff, and take care, stay well, and hugs and kisses until next time. Bye.